SF Shaker with no save. This is the concern I had because, yeah, sure, you can pick a matchup against the AM. We will threaten and Ixus Vampire here. Oh, he's been chased by Solo. That's Solo's got enough kill. impetus. It is. That's first blood for Solo. Versus a Razor, but he uses his swashbuckle well and he finds CS. This game around, it seems like he's doing a very similar thing. Top lane. I mean, this is this is the threat of the Beastmaster. Just running them down. AA is gone. Dream is also going to take a severe beating from the two of them. This is not sort of a happy place to be. He's still managing to CS in that top lane, but his life's being fred and bottom. Chase down onto Vampire. Tries to back up to get that impetus damage distance, but it's not enough to kill him. He's going to suicide. Or just run back, yeah. He's just going to run back. Shashlo. Done quite a bit of damage with the to retaliate, but Kuman's able to keep it safe. The big creep wave is going to be coming in underneath his tower, so Kuman should be able to pick this one up quite nicely. Top lane, again getting aggressive. The Fisher blocking off Dream. Rezo's trying to chase him down. Dream's trying to run one more hit. Will do it. Rezo this time finds the big one. They killed the carry on the top lane. They will. They might take down FNG if the blocks are good. And they also killed Centaur on that wow. safe lane. And yeah. the blocks, they... Oh, oh. Maybe with the fire fire. Now, Rezo, he's diving this one. He's definitely going for that double kill. Let's be real. Oh, Ancient no plus dream. Terror Blade. Oh. He's come back into the lane. I mean, Rezo's just immediately going to start chasing him down again. He's going to need sort of all the regen in the world to help sustain himself against this aggression from VP. I mean, he may even be dead at the science. He's clarifying up. Dream, he's blocked him off a little bit with the illusion. And that will actually be enough to keep him safe, but he's still being forced right away from the lane, or maybe it won't. The Hawk's out, Rezo's got the vision, Zayas can lay down the Fisher, and they are just bullying the hell out of this Terror Blade. Dream's trying to run, cut his way to safety. He will live, but that's VP, they're forcing him so far away from the lane. Exactly, that's so much time wasted for Dream. He might have just as well been dead for this whole time. To be able to close just by laning against the SF. No one's going to be able to bully him out of the lane single-handedly right now. He needs support back up. Bottom lane, bit of a play being made onto Shashlo. His man has been burnt. He's trading back hits with the Retaliate. Kuman does have to be a bit careful. One more hit and he would have been dead, but Kuman pushes himself to the limits perfectly, allows the time for Solo to continue to beat down on that Centaur. Goes up. Now sort of again secure this bounty rune here. Zephan, well, I say secure. He doesn't want to step forward. He feels a little scared. Let's it go. They lose themselves their AA. FNG will fall. Zephan, he's, he's got to back out. He should still have extra mobility, and he does. Mm. W's up. Doesn't get him up to the high ground, but will get him far enough away to keep himself safe. But still, it's... I want in the mid lane. He's the focus. Zayats is going to be there to back him up behind. Fisher's out as soon as they jump in. They're popping the stampede. The remnant will grab him back, but Zayats, he just walks in. He's best set up perfectly for a two man slam. The red green pushes them away. Zayats is still alive, gets the stick out, and now back up's in. The ice blast is flying over. Will not clip onto Zayats. Zayats will live. Shashla was full as well as FNG. Exus Rampa is able to pick up solo, but his Gambit trying to make a play, and it does cool, not man. end up in a good trade at all for them, especially with Kuman heading over and helping. No one clean up a double kill, a three for one trade in favor of VP off the back of a Gambit smoke. Gambit, they are struggling to slow VP down once again. Yeah, before we break that fight down, just let's just speak about Kuman and this guy. He's playing an anti mage. How many players do you see join a fight this early on with an AM? And, and for a good cause, he gives his SF another kill. They clean the Rubik Cup as well. Very well played by him. Yes. But that whole team fight, range drop, magic wand, even if you go on him, even if you get this kill, he's fine with it. You might kill him, but he knew exactly what he was running into. It just didn't work out. Okay. Those those normal plays, they don't work. I mean, it, it feels like for the most part of this game, we've just seen Gambit, the three or the four of them, just trying to run at heroes. It's not working. They're not getting these kills. No oh. one. And I've got the Fisher block out. No one's trying to get in a position to knock him back, but Shashlo will escape with the Stampede. They'll turn towards Zayas, try for the Shaker instead. He's frozen up by the cold feet and will fall. They'll get the Shaker. Maybe they can catch Rezo here. It's been a while since they've been able to take down a core, but now Rezo will be found alone. They will finally manage to take one of these big old cores out of the game as Rezo is isolated and killed off. Now that is one that Gambit can celebrate, but that is certainly not. No one kills off Dream. Dream. On his own. On his own, the Yule's combo, it does it. It blows up the Terra Blade. Of course, Terra Blade, very, very weak to, to magic damage with that low HP. In the jungle, FN will burst and nuke down Solo. Now he's got to try and run, use the W to get away, but they'll find him. Rezo sets up with the raw, FN will fall. As VP, they're just starting to run Gambit down. And it's, it's, it's this whole game, you no know, Kuman, he's, he's chilling. Battle Fury's done, he's farming. They'll look for the setup, see if they can burst no one with the Ice Blast, it's gonna bring him down low. It looks to rev up the op, but they'll kill him. A huge kill finally found by Gambit.
as they will take the SF out of the game. That's really what they needed. Also another pickup, another good pickup from XS Vampire. That was a fissure there that helped them out. I think this is a pretty good Rubik game when you think about it. There's a lot of spells, like a blink from AM is easy to steal and it's super uh, good for you. There's also the fissure, the roar. See, and the, the river solo, he tries to poker this outside of Invis, but there's backup there for FNG solo. Still alive, actually. They don't quite kill him off. A fish is out. Solo is still living. He's backing away. He's going to survive this. And now <laughs> VP, they could turn on them. They're, they're trapped in as well. The fish has blocked them in. Vampire tries to TP out. They've got the damage to kill him off before he gets away. As they'll chase on. FNG is in trouble, Zayats. He's got Fisher back up once more. Shashlo does jump in, goes for the two man hoofstop to try and save them, but the Echo Slam's available. He's only just gone and killed himself as well. FM will slide across to try and get something in return, but he gets nothing. So they didn't even have enough damage to kill off the Shake. Ice Blast comes in a little late. Roshan's already dead, and Kuman's already grabbed the Aegis. Well, he's dead. They're gonna stampede to try and lean in. Solo's there on the front lines. They'll jump across. They will find resolution. BKB's out on Dream, so he can pot the BKB in the meta. Commits for the kill on the Beastmaster and will find it. The rest of VP, they'll wait it out. Kite out. Dream's BKB. Solo is running away. FN's gonna try and chase. Solo goes for the TP out. He's not gonna make it away. FN able to lay down the remnant in time. Solo pops the essence ring. It'll take a bit of a beating, but they'll finally be able to push him over the edge. Vampire takes the kill with the Fade Bolt. Still aren't showing on the map. It's a difficult choice to go for, a difficult call, very. It's the focus. They'll try for the jump. See if they can take him down the watts. They're bringing him low. Mantis pops. He tries to blink out, but the remnant is there to Gone. control him. They'll kill off the ages. Can they do it again, though? It doesn't look like they feel that they can. They'll back away. They don't want to try and bite off more than they can chew. They'll, they'll just accept the, the Aegis kill. Maybe they can try and get on top of someone else. There's the block off from Zayats. Puts a stop to the chase. And now Solo, you see him just posturing aggressively. Starts to run into the faces of Gambit. Shashlo will attempt the jump forward and go in for the hoof stomp, but he's been roared, stunned up. There's the jump from Zayats. He's locking down the center and the Terror Blade. Shashlo will fall. Dream will put the Metamorphosis in an attempt to turn things around. And with his BKP, he's stepping forward. They kill off Solo. They'll head towards Zayats. They'll get the two supports. Double kill for FN. Two really, really good kills for Gambit. You did commit meta again without taking an objective. And no one knows, straight in onto FN. The now back. that they know that they cannot fight on, the BKB's gone on Dream. Kuman blinks out once again to kite him up. There's four dead on Gambit. Dream's the last one alive. There's no BKB, no meta left for him to fight back as his team wipe VP. They are cruising through Gambit this series. Both games, their draft has just been uncontested. They're on Gambit. Telescope on the Enchantress as well, such a great... Oh, nice. It's that an Enchanted Quiver, but oh. that might not save her, though. All right, a quick kill. They are losing a bit of the base, though. Tier 3 being pressured here. Just a little bit of the base. That's that Tier 3. Not important, right? And all on the high ground. No one's there waiting. Fisher's out. Zayas jumps in. He's locking them down perfectly here with the full combo on the Echo. There is the time for Dream to still get off the BKB. Immediate blink out from no one. Gets himself to safety. Zayas, he's able to force away. That's the BKB forced out from Dream. And Dream cannot what find a kill mate? with it. What about top? The base What's happening? Is still base getting dying, hit. maybe? Tier three's gone. Kuman gets jumped upon silence, but Amanta removes it and he's out. Yeah, that whole fight there... Virtus Pro, they did commit a couple of big spells, but so did Gambit, and Gambit lost the tier 3 as well. So, overall, you're happy with that, you're playing 4 versus 5, you're taking objectives and you're forcing their rotations. You could see how impactful that telekinesis is, though. Like, when, you, when people talk about Rubik, all they say is this laning stage, that Fade Bolt is just crazy. You're hit with that Fade Bolt as a carry and you just want to cry. You have minus million damage, but later on in the game, uh, the supremacy, right? Plus telekinesis. You're just stunned oh, forever. forever. Yeah. yeah. You all lifted up and held there for, for quite some time. He's got his blink as well, stolen from anti mage, so he's able to just move around the map, doesn't even have to commit for that blink, can buy something different. Gambit. They're trying to get over onto VP's half of the map once more. They're out a hunting. I mean it feels like so many of these movements have just resulted in, in sort of solo dying. It's VP have been very calculated with how they've lost their heroes this game. As there's the jump. Rezo will be found. That's certainly a bigger one. Straight, straight back into the ice bars, but Rezo's actually able to turn, get the raw off, and Rezo, he can walk away from this. They weren't able to commit. VP's been given time to get in. Shashlo gets destroyed by Kuman. As Gambit are just forced to back off once more. No one blinks in. 
does get stunned up by the stolen robe. FM with the BKB is trying to burst no one down, but the opportunity is there for no one to pop the BKB. Kumat, he's just cleaning them up on the back lines. It's a triple kill for him. Jumps over to Dream. There's, it's a, it's uh, not, it you. really yeah. is. This series, it was one big GG as VP. <laughs> they, they're on another level. Gambit did not stand a chance, or I mean, maybe they didn't Team give themselves a chance. Victory. These drafts, they felt a little off, very rough to play. We saw it in this game too. They went in for this void spirit, revealing it. SF comes out. No one knows that he's going to have a free and easy game. And Kumat, he's given a beautiful playing ground to. You know, he did it on the morph, he does it on the AM, he makes it look easy. I actually really love this last play from Gambit.